The Japanese language is made up of hiragana and katakana, uh, and this workbook will help you learn how to pronounce uh, the Japanese language very quickly. This is the same method that's used in um, Japan when they need to get people to learn something very quickly. Um, and uh, it's kind of using pictures because the language is picture-based to help remember how to pronounce different sounds so that you can start to pronounce things right away in Japan. When I went and lived in Japan, we had a crash course in language and we were taught how to take the symbols, uh, like this hiragana no sound, and to kind of turn it into a picture. So I think of it as, um, you know, the no go sign. So when I see this, I think of this, and then I know that the sound is no. Another one in katakana uh, is the um, na sound. So this looks like a cross, um, but it's really a knife with a nun next to it. So I try and when I see this, I try and envision this so I know it's na is the sound. This, I think of a yo-yo on its side. So this is the katakana for yo. And I do a little drawing on top of it. So I remember the little loop that goes over your finger and it's yo to remember that that's the sound. I did it as flashcards so that I can go through this and you know set aside the cards that I know and keep studying the ones that I don't know. Here's another one for ho. So it looks like a cross with some rays of light coming off of it, so I enhance those rays of light over here. So I know that this represents the sound ho. So as you go through the mnemonics workbook, we have the hiragana and the katakana, uh, and then it is in again gray, so you can draw on top of it to figure out what is the best way that you can remember this by creating a picture that comes into your mind. So um, we've got the whole hiragana and katakana alphabet uh, done here. And you can even see some of the radicals that can be put together are addressed in the book. And then you get to see it actually being used in some of the signs that I took pictures of while I was in Japan. And then the beginnings of kanji is also done here where you have um, the kanji. Um, now you get to see the hiragana or katakana that it represents, so that's guchi and that means mouth. So then how would you remember that that's a mouth? Maybe you would make a, a face above that with the open mouth and a tongue inside. Um, so you can go through um, the hiragana, katakana, and the kanji and begin to develop an understanding of how you would pronounce and understand um, Japanese. So this is in the workbook and I'll have a link below uh, that you can use to get to it on Amazon and order yourself a copy. If you buy the teacher's edition, uh, you can make copies for all of your students.